Subscribe to Software Testing Mentor channel, learn latest technologies in software testing, test automation, testing tools, and much more. Hello friends, welcome to Test Rail Training. My name is Manish and in this tutorial we'll learn how to add test plan in Test Rail. So to get started you need to create a project. So we have in previous tutorial we have learned how to create project and then um, create the test run. So now come to the test run and results tab um, after selecting the project and click on add test plan to create the test plan. So the relevance of test plan in um, test trail is basically to uh, include or to um, collate all the related test cases uh, that needs to be executed on different uh, set of uh, different combinations so for example different OS and browser versions um, then you can have a test plan and then select the configuration of browser and OS and there will be multiple test runs created within that test plan for that combination so that's the key relevance of having test plan in test rail so for example I'll show you an example here so I'll say uh, supported browser um, plus OS test cases uh, I'll give that name and if you want to select the milestone select the milestone um, say version 1.0 if this test plan or these testing is um, part of version 1.0 release uh, provide the description a uh, bit of detailed description of what the plan is all about and then click on add test run once you click on add test run you will get a sample test run here um, and you can select the test cases at the moment all the test cases are inclu included so if you want to select a subset of test cases then you can select a subset of the test cases by clicking on this select test cases um, accordingly now the key benefit of having test plan is to have the configurations so click on configurations and I have created some of the sample configurations already uh, for browser and OS. Uh, if you want to add new group and new configuration, you just click on add group and provide the name of the group that you want to add. I'll say database. Click on the group. Um, add group and it will add the group. Sorry, it's a bit uh, slow at the moment. And once the group is added, you can click on add configuration to add the configuration. So I'll say database DB2 or Oracle. So it will add that configuration. Now, in a test plan, which combination you want to run your test cases on. So you need to select that particular conf uh, configuration. So since all these test cases are the UI test cases, I'll select the browser and the OS combination. Um, and then click on OK and below you see below the test run you'll see there are multiple configurations available at the moment after you have made the selection so Chrome with Mac Chrome with Windows 10 Safari with Mac and Safari with, with Windows 10 if you don't want to choose um, of you if you don't want to run a particular set of test cases on the configuration just untick that and then you have an option to select the test case separate test case for each of the configuration or you you can select the all so if you leave it default it will select all the test cases you can assign um, each of the configuration to different tester in the group so if you select you have the user so if you have more users in the in the list you can select the tester name here and assign who is going to execute these test cases um, for this combination uh, description you can set the description for each of that configuration by editing the description here um, at the moment at the top you'll see all the test cases are included if you want to select a subset of these test cases for all these configuration I'll select subset and then click on registration uh, so only registration test cases nine of the test cases will be added as part of that configuration once you're all done with it, you, know, you are done with the configuration, just click on add test plan. And here you'll see that the test 
test run is created with all different combinations and all nine test cases being part of that combination. So that's the um, key benefit of having test plan. Uh, if you go back, you'll see a different icon for the test plan uh, and test run. So this was the, uh, the standalone test run that I created with all the test cases. And this is the test plan which includes um, the nine registration test cases for different supported browser and OS combination. So it will give me a clear picture how those registration test cases are performing in different browser and OS versions and who is responsible for executing test case, those test cases <coughs> Sorry, and the progress around that. So that is pretty much all about um, uh, test plans in test trail and, uh, projects. Hope you liked the video. Um, if you have any queries, feel free to post your questions and I'll take them in further sessions. Thank you.